another day, another Filipino story. Did you know that the Philippines was ruled through Mexico and not through Spain at the, as the start of the Spanish rule? The Philippines were under Mexican rule from 1565 to 1821. The name of Mexico at that time was New Spain. When Mexico gained its independence from Spain on August 24, 1821, the Philippines were ruled directly from Madrid. During the Spanish rule, from 1565 to 1821, a large number of Mexican immigrants came to the Philippines. During this time, the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade brought many Mexicans and Spaniards to the Philippines as sailors, crew, prisoners, slaves, adventurers, and soldiers. Many prisoners were exiled from Mexico to the Philippines. They cleaned out their jails. In a similar vein, the galleon trade route brought numerous Filipinos to Mexico. The primary, primary link between the two Spanish colonies was the galleon trade. The Manila-Acapulco trade route not only brought many goods for trading but also people. Each country experienced immigration inflows and outflows. Furthermore, many sailors from Mexico and the Philippines abandoned ship. The journey was difficult and many of the sailors decided to jump ship as soon as they arrived on land. Stephanie Mawson, in her master's thesis, claims that the Spaniards sent thousands of Latin American settlers to the Philippines every year in the 1600s. And around that time, 15,600 settlers from Mexico and Peru had been sent by the Spanish rulers. The number of Spaniards from Spain who had arrived in the Philippines at that time was only around 600. People of Latin American and Hispanic descent quickly spread across the territory as a result of the area's initially low population count. Studies estimate that there were 35,000 Mexican soldiers who immigrated to the Philippines later, making up 2.33% of the population in the 1.5 million strong Philippine population. German ethnographer Fidor Jagor calculated that a third of the island of Luzon had varying degrees of Spanish and Latin American ancestry using Spanish census data. Thus, as much as 20% of those sampled bodies, translating to about 20 million Filipinos, can be physically classified as Latin American in appearance. Of course, this changed as more immigrants from other Asian nations, particularly China, arrive at the Philippines, making the nation more Asian. Being a part of the Spanish Empire had a significant impact on both Mexico and the Philippines. The Philippines and Mexico came under the influence of the United States, an emerging power in the north once the Spanish Empire began to decline. Mexican immigrants to the Philippines came from a variety of ethnic groups, including natives, mestizos, and creoles. These immigrants mainly intermarried with the local population, which led to an increase in the number of offsprings with Mexican blood. These Mexican immigrants, who had already immigrated to the islands, assisted in building the military fort of Zamboanga and other parts in the Philippines. The Mexican mestizo race, which was developed as a result of the blending of the indigenous Maya and Nahotel culture with Spanish culture, has a strong influence on these islands. Some local languages in the Philippines have been influenced by a large number of words that originated in Nahotel, a language used by the descendants of the indigenous Mexican Aztecs. The Tagalog language contains many Nahotel words including atole, avocado, balsa, cacao, calabaza, camote, chico, chocolate, coyote, nanay, tatay, tocayo, zapote, and many more. Adobo and other dishes that originated in Mexico are also found in the Philippines. The Mexican peso serve as a basis for the Philippine peso. The Filipino Barong Tagalog is also of Mexican origin. 
Some of the Filipino dancers are of Mexican origin. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi was the one who came to claim the Philippines for Spain. At that time, he served as the Governor General of Mexico, and almost every member of his crew were Mexicans. The municipality of Mexico, Pampanga, used to be called Machico, but the Mexicans renamed the town Mexico after their country. It is safe to assume that Mexico was the primary source of the majority of the Hispanic people who now resides in the Philippines. Furthermore, they are the ones who remain even after our independence. After the Philippine Revolution, many Spanish nationals from Spain returned to their home country. I hope you enjoyed our video for today. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to produce videos that highlights the Philippines and Filipinos. Please click the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you and see you all in our next video. Thanks for watching.